Hello, this is Talamir and welcome to another repair video. In this video, I'm going to be talking about panic logs. Now, I've got a busted up iPhone 11 right here and uh, it's got some problems. Now, it will turn on. It definitely will turn on. That is not an issue. But what is, is that after a very short period of time, the phone will automatically restart on its own. It especially does that when the phone is plugged in. So I wanted to show how exactly we can diagnose this, and we can do this using a computer and a panic log reader. So let's switch over to the computer. And here we have a program that's called iDevice Panic Log Analyzer. I'll put a link in the video description on where you can download this, but I'm just gonna be connecting up the phone right now. And uh, I can't really show the issue itself happening. You're gonna have a message that pops up on the screen. It's gonna ask about whether or not you want to trust this computer. You just tap yes or tap trust on the phone and it'll go through. Now at this moment, you're gonna see this pop up, the iPhone, the serial number, the hardware model, etc., and also the iOS model. I'm gonna click on read logs. Once that's finished processing, it'll show you a list of all the panic logs that are in the phone. Now, I don't know why this one says 1969. <laughs> that is a big oddity. I'm gonna click on it out of pure curiosity. It's pretty much what I was expecting for all these logs. I've looked at this already earlier, but basically I'm wondering why is this phone not acting right? Well, you check the panic logs and you find out what exactly is happening. Well, it gives you a whole bunch of information about what is its possible issues it suggests charging port flex, power button flex, or NAND. You don't want it to be NAND. If it's NAND, that phone is probably going to be dead. Now, what just happened here? It just disconnected. Why? Well, switching back to me, the phone has just crashed. It, it has crashed. So I gotta turn the phone back on and get back into that log. So in this occasion, we can look at the back of this phone and do we see any damage around where the power button is? No, it, it's, it's, I mean, it's a little cracked, but no, it's not, it's not damaged. How about the bottom? Well, as you can clearly see, there's some definite open spots right around here where the charge port ribbon cable is. So we can clearly see that there must be a problem with that. So. I am going to be doing that in another video where I replace that ribbon, that ribbon cable for the charge port and um, I'm going to be doing a full rebuild. I actually have a lot of the parts already prepped and ready to go for it. It is just sitting there waiting on my desk for me to start getting into it. So if this video was helpful for you guys, I really appreciate a like and if you want to see more of my stuff, subscribe. We'll see you guys all in another video. Bye.